Well, I'm so excited to be here tonight. You know, uh, this is like music capital, music royalty here in Nashville. And so it just feels so right. You know, I don't get a chance to come here enough. So I've got to change that. Uh, so I was rehearsing for Clive's Grammy party and a young woman walks up to me and she's nine years old and she says, can I take a picture with you? Uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm a singer and songwriter and we took a picture and I said, well, you keep working and you'll, you'll be here playing the show. And years later, she comes to me as an adult now and I know her music, but you know, she says, do you remember meeting me? I said, no. And she says, she says, what's your phone number? I'm going to send you a picture. And she sent me a picture that we took years before that, like maybe 10 years or more. And, uh, and she was performing that night at Clive's party. And it's the night that she won her first Grammy, you know. So long before there were music videos, people used their imagination of what the performer even looked like because the videos come before that. And I was working with a young uh, singer, again, another young singer trying to get a record deal. And, uh, and her video came out, and everyone was enamored by it. And that was Whitney Houston at, at 19, you know. And uh, she was, when we met, she was 18, and I was 22. And no one knew of her, but that music video really set the tone for what to expect from not only what they look like or their smile, but everything about them. So you, you, you're informed a lot more about their personalities, and it makes you love them even more.